Regarding the backdrop behind me, uh, this is my library, well, part of it. The other part is over there. The significance of the library and the importance of the library is uh, lies in the following, theosophically. Basically, uh, I rejected everything in my initial attempt back when I was 16 to understand, to comprehend reality. I then used the process of inner reflection, meditation, to come up with a understanding and understanding of, of uh, reality. A lot of things took place along the way, but the point is, after I came up with this understanding, I began to delve into what it is we know presently, at this point of our journey as a species, through reality. And I found that everything, literally everything, that I would take up and read, reinforced in one way or another, the concept that we are spiritual beings, we exist in a physical body, which exists in a physical universe, which emanated from nothingness, emanated from the void, which in turn is a tool located within and used by the total omniscience, which in itself was located within, but we won't go into that at this point. The library is composed of four sections. One-third of it is, or one-fourth of it, is composed of philosophical teachings and, and works. One-fourth is composed of scientific works. One-fourth is composed of ancient teachings. And one-fourth is composed of mathematical uh, material and references which are, which represent four of the five tools necessary for a theosopher in his quest to understand, to feel, to comprehend reality. Thus the backdrop. In terms of meditation, that came through practice. These five tools we will discuss in detail as we go through these small sections of theosophical discussion through these small sections of comprehending how to understand reality and comprehending why feeling reality are both important.